it's Craig from Scratch at 50. Today we're going to be playing what I think is one of the most unique holes in the whole of the UK. It's so unique that it's got an instruction manual on the tee telling you how to play it. Okay, let's get cracking. <laughs> Okay, so here is the instruction manual to tell people how to play the hole because it is so different. If visitors get here, they really haven't got a clue. So option one, an accurate driver, 260 yards, flying left of the post will leave you 170 yards downhill to the green and eagle awaits. So that's saying if it stays up on this left-hand side here, I don't think that's the right place to be. Option two, aiming just left of the post about 230 yards should catch the gathering swale and make it down to the lower fairway which is the yellow one which is the one that i'm going to try and do option three is only for people who definitely can't hit it far enough to reach the chute and option four is for the really big hitters where they go directly and just take the hill completely out of play and carry it all the way to the bottom fairway Maybe something I used to do in my younger days, but those days are long gone. So the yellow is what we're trying to do. Up the left, left of the marker post, catch the chute, run all the way down to the bottom fairway, and then hopefully leave me with a iron to the green and then try and give ourselves an eagle putt. Okay, so we want to be just left of the marker post. You can go further left and it still all gathers and hopefully goes down the chute to the lower fairway. The further right you go, the further the carry and the more chance it is of just staying up on top. So you really do want to be just concentrating on just hitting it down that left side. One. Start again. That's perfect. That should be perfect. So the hole has actually undergone a complete redesign this winter. So this is the new bit of fairway. You can kind of see where the fairway used to end, but now they flatten this off. This used to all just curve away down into the trees. But now as you come here, the hole reveals itself. Just look at that for a view. So if you take on that carry, you have to carry all of this hill all the way down to that lower fairway. Now this is the way I've tried to do it. Here's the marker post. So you come left of the marker and then your ball gets gathered and then goes all the way down that chute to the lower fairway. And I can see my ball from here. I'll try and zoom in on the edit. If you miss the slope and you come up onto this Tunga fairway over here, well then you've got quite a difficult blind shot all the way down to the lower fairway, which isn't really ideal. Okay, this is where my ball's finished. I've caught the slope and come around to the right, which is what it normally does. Sometimes you get lucky and catch the slope and go forwards, and you get like another 20, 30 yards. I've got about 200 yards, so I'm gonna hit my little hybrid. It's lying a little bit fluffy as well. So I'm gonna try and just hit a little fade in because I am standing just a little bit above the ball. It's a good shot, it's just leaking a little bit. Could be bunkered. 
actually not that far from the hole, but as I thought, a sandy grave. It's a little bit of a delicate one. I'll take it for sure, happy with that. Nice birdie. So there you have it, the seventh at Pleasanton, the mill. It really is a very unique golf hole. People either love it or they absolutely hate it. Hate it, it really is a Marmite hole and there's no in between, there's no people who think, oh yeah, I think it's okay. They either love it or they hate it. I absolutely love it. I always look at it as a great birdie opportunity, but if you play a bad golf shot or get yourself out of position, you can rack up a big score here real quick. Okay, put your comments below. Let me know what you think of this as a golf hole. Hope you really enjoyed it. For sure, Pleasanton Golf Course, it's my home golf course. It's got some of the most picturesque golf holes you will ever wish to play. Come down here, come and or get yourself a game of golf. Come and play Pleasanton Golf Club. It really is an absolute delight, especially in the summer. Uh, and not, you know, not stupidly expensive either. One of the best inland courses in the northwest of England. Okay, till the next video, stay safe, enjoy your golf, and I'll see you then.